Love, light, greetings and gratitude. Blessings and blessings, beautiful ones. The Ascension Star family and all that will arrive that's new. Welcome to the reading. The collective air signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Or if you have multiple placements, then of course, take this heartedly. A lot of the energy is channeled and it is for the month of October. I do encourage you to listen to the general reading that I've just put up that I expand a little bit more about what is taking place. The Spirit of Light bring out beautiful hearted ones. The messages for October to help you navigate and go through the month with ease and comfort, guidance and wisdom. We have the moon. Straight up, let's get all four and then we'll place it. I've just seen 110, 111 and today I'm recording on the 1st of October. That is a 1-1. One, one. So lots of balancing, lots of new beginnings. Libra is about balancing. Gemini is also the um, a sigil of justice energy the double ones and the high priestess so a lot of alignment a lot of bringing polarity from spirit to matter all right so what else there's a lot trying to come in all right so we have the nine of wands we have 18 and nine a lot of completing of things. A lot that's been hidden is going to come out with the moon card. Whatever's been in the shadows. Because with Libra wanting justice, justification, validation, clarification, truth, fairness, equality. Whatever has been hidden from you. And also look. The ones. So whatever's been towered up, collecting heightened that has been put away for another day another time another year another explanation or reason you are going to find has to come out of its depth as we also going to be entering the scorpio energy uh, coming in next month with water but this is very much cancer energy but with water emotions Right, deep emotions need to be balanced. So whatever your boundaries are, right, your boundaries, and what they're showing me is if you look at the vertical um, symbol as an eleven, and you look at the vibration horizontally um, of the sigil of Aquarius with the two waves, whichever way you put it, right. It is as if it is a symbology of four that's duplicating itself. It's like two, um, two plus two times two gives you the eight that we're seeing here. But you holding the anchor for strength with the center of the axle, like the sword that is coming through the center, and you've got the balance of four and four, the sword or the wand coming in with a balance of four and four so definitely taking action to bring balance to deep seated issues and we will find that a lot of people will be going through that kind of um, sequence of clearing and events in their life what they have to put away put aside let go what they have to also bring out to attend to Eight of Wands, another eight. Another eight. Yet we don't have an eight, we have an 18. Which is an eight. And it's showing up with the four of Wands on either side as being the eight. So you've got to be proactive and very active. It is fast paced, it is quickening. The time for awakening is quickening, Spirit says. Taking quick action 
um, there's no time to slow down. You won't have time if you've been slowed down or wanting to slow down. You are having to pick up pace. This particular month is showing that whatever's been sitting in the low will, will have to come up and take precedence now. There's no time for security. There's no time to protect it anymore or to prevent it. It must be addressed. So what is this about? Show us with the collective. What is it about? It has to do with emotions. It also has to do with projects. Like whatever projects you've been putting into abeyance, into um, pause mode, delay mode, you've got to attend to it. And you've got to do it passionately. You, you can't do it for the sake of completing the project or superficially or half-heartedly. It's got to be fully, complete, wholly, totally six of pentacles. So that is definitely a balancing of giving and receiving, caring and sharing, generosity, charity. And what, you, what you're going to put out is what you're going to get back. Because this, ideally, in the traditional decks, is, is someone having a scale, giving money to others. So you will have to part with things that no longer serve you, materially, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, end things that don't work, release, detach, and of course, bring in to receive incoming energy what is about to take you further. And there is no time, no time, it's now. It's now, the decision is now. There's no contemplation. So, definitely leaning towards the pickup um, pace. There's no um, procrastination, they say. Stop procrastinating. Why well, are you procrastinating? It's about coming back to earth in who you are as a body. Being down to earth, being humble, being simple, taking action to your greater and higher good. Right. Let's get a sacred site message for you. Where can our beautiful air collectives meditate, concentrate, to introspect and bring about that wholesome, that wisdom that will come through? We've got Death Valley. I am resilient. There is hope. There can be success through hardship. So very much Native American energy coming through the simplicity of the earth, coming out of your shell, ending the past, releasing the past. It's that death mode, that stagnation that you've been sitting in that has held you heavy and captive has got to go that's why the eight of wands is here for you to take action and to resur resurrect to know who you are what do you intend to receive but to receive that what will you give away what will you let go so that's your agony your pain is sitting with the nine of wands where you've put up the boundaries you've try to be strong you've shut people out you've gone in a shell right because you're afraid to work on something attend to something or many things so the time for that end is near is here and there is hope where you felt there was no hope from um, protecting yourself having that tightened security around you 
shutting others out. It's now time to share, to open up, talk to people, socialize, get out. So this is you coming back to life. Coming back to life. The crystal message, spirit. It's like when I look at that, um, the ground that is all cracked up from being in drought, not having water, it's like, are you not thirsty? What are you putting yourself through? Why do you want to feel barren? Why do you not want to replenish who you are and let there be a birthing? Come out of that, that dark mosaic that you've been in fragments of who you are pieces of yourself all over you've got to now fill the cracks let the soil um, regenerate put the seedlings in let the rains come sapphire right so much of blue energy coming in easy does it your health, happiness and abundance require a gentle approach to life and work. Oh, the Sapphire Crystal, whether you have one or not, connect with it spiritually, but it's talking about it can be done. And allow yourself to flow. Do not resist. Do not be too tough, too hardened. Do not emanate this exterior that you have to be um, strong you can break down you're allowed to be softer you're allowed to melt away and you have to balance your health your happiness your joys your abundance your life as a whole it's coming back to life a new approach to life and work. And very much Archangel Michael's energy, which you can utilize because I've done readings with his Sapphire Flame and Sapphire Sword um, and Light. If you go back and look on uh, the playlist one, please do connect with him because he is here to say, I am here. I can help you. And he is the sword. He is air energy. So he's come here for a reason. We have many cards that fell, but I will do a reshuffle. One, please, spirit. You see, the three cards that show up or the two that show up in different angles is talking about that mosaic on the floor of the Death Valley. That it, nothing is straight. Everything is jagged and rugged and rigid. And that's how you've been besides who you are. Truly, you need to smooth yourself out, soothe yourself out, calm, embalm, charm. And also disarm from being so tightly secured. Right, we have the honeybee. Divine feminine. You are being called on to rise. Right, that's what we said. Resurrection. Come back to life. Right? There's no plants and flowers. It's time to grow them, to allow new pollination, new growth, new sweetness, the smell of honey, warm, loving, calming, soothing, soothing, smoothing, embalming, right? Tasting honey, adding it to your, um, your beverages, um, using it as a face mask, right? That lovely, comforting feeling. And honeybee is also talking about you getting into a busy period, which is 
what I've already said. Divine feminine, being softer and kinder. Stop being hard, rigid, tough, armoured, so overly protective. Be creatively, beautifully who you meant to be. Your soul action, please, spirit, for our collective air signs. How can I be more flexible right now? How apt is that? It's time to move on, to move around, to shake about, right? It's time to loosen up, liven up, stop being stuck, tight, locked up. Who are you trying to control? Maybe it's time to let go. Let love move through you today and trust the outcome will be for your highest good. Soul action, remind yourself all day long that you are safe, that life is happening for you and that you are not alone. Then do some yoga, right? Get up, get out, move around. Take control of your life. Let life flow. That's why we've got the Divine feminine energy, it's about flowing, gracefulness, sensuality, beauty, fragrance, right? Enjoy all of that. Because the air signs are usually very strict and affirmative, conservative, um, always in their head, wanting to race and... Um, get on with it, ideas and inspiration just keep fleeting in, flocking in and you're all over the place. I'm an air sign, I'm an Aquarius, I know this. All right, let's get more. Usually I do each sign on its own, but this month I'm doing them as a collective because we've been having so many blackouts recently that I'm not able to do much recording and uploading and of course it has delayed me but everything has a reason and a purpose. Okay, tide of transition. Embrace the tides of change with openness allowing the ebb and the flow of life to guide your transformation into love and work. Now we already have the words life and work now we have love and work and transition fluidity right there's no water here it's time to add it to let the growth come in to let the tide move you the yoga the ballet the flow the contouring the movement the motion the emotion see it's summing up what we've been talking about Right, so your your psychic gift is clairvoyance. Maybe some of you are going through the awakening of seeing through your clair senses of sight. You're being called to explore what you see in your mind's eye. Whether that is the past, present or future, these mental impressions have much to share. When we come out, of our head and we allow the creativity of the feminine divine to flow then we start getting messages clairvoyance is a common expansion of sight clair senses buoyance movement voyage journey journeying through sight as if you are in the physical doing it receiving it it is there to come. So spirit wants to talk to you. Archangel Michael and the guide, your guides want to talk to you and give you impressions and pictures and signs and symbols. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. 
do forgive me. I am going through a throat chakra upgrade as well, so. And possibly many of you are. Keep a journal and write down what you see during your meditations, your, your time out, your quiet time. Listen to life. I am attentive to the world around me. Signs and symbols guide me to success. I listen and discover the way to the eternal. We've just used these words, signs and symbols, impressions, pictures. Right, listen. Listen with your clairvoyance, your inner senses. Spirit is talking. And again, these are all Michael's energies coming in to bring you into that alignment. Right, we see it here as well, coming down. It's a lot to take in. It's a lot to take in. Spirit says, but you've got to take the lot out. So whatever is over cluttering you, that's taken up the space, that's what you've got to let go of. All right, so I'm going to take the threes. 3,333 social skills, hope, optimism, liberation, success, prosperity, excitement, enthusiasm. This is what you need to do is get out of the closet, get out of being hidden. You're a social animal, social being, right? Air signs, love, people, friendship, communication, partnership, socializing, so get out there and be who you need to be. The problems you have today will eventually disappear. Your guardian angels encourage you to maintain a positive outlook on life since your luck may be about to change. It is time to put to use your captivating energy and inspirational personality. Don't let your ego get the best of you. Right. Change. Personality. I just spoke about the air signs. That's who you truly are. And your guardian angels and Archangel Michael is trying to get your attention. Here it is, confirming the reading. Step into your power, your light, who you truly are. And we've got one more a time. We have the vibration of cancer energy. Right. With the moon card here, it doesn't surprise me. A number four could be significant to you. Four weeks, four, four months. So whatever your goals are, your intentions are, be cognizant that in four weeks or four months, you could have guidance, it could come into fruition into balance you could be on a completely different trajectory of time and the crab symbol is the six and the nine actually we already have the six of pentacles and we have the nine of wands here so it's all validation confirmation that you should take heed to what is needing to take place that four i am told is part of half of the eight of the four wands that you see on the left and the right. So whichever is your pick. You've got 2206, 2207. So they're talking about two plus two is four on the one side, two plus two is four on the other side. And there's the wand in the center. There's your final confirmation and validation to respect your feelings, there's the rose, 
There's the rose. Okay. So make the best of it. Whatever you plan to do this month. And this is so much like a balancing a seesaw. You know, one goes up, one comes down. Um, putting it side by side would very much symbolize the two sides of a scale. And we are in Libra season. Well, but this is a collective air sign reading. Take heed or resonance to the message, the wisdom. And I love you. I bless you. And thank you. Till next.